I would say it's not a blazer. It's a blazer dress, not a tuxedo dress. Okay. Er, go back. <laughs> joining me welcome my name is Corey I run a style brand called the curved life where I give daily outfit inspiration over here on YouTube though I'm going one step further by taking the guesswork out of shopping so you don't have to if that sounds like something that you're interested in go ahead and click that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click that notification bell so you're notified every time I make a video I upload weekly on Sunday as the title suggested I am doing a different kind of haul for one specific item the little black dress i thought this would be perfect for valentine's day since valentine's day is coming up people might be going on date nights girls night outs i already did a date night night out lookbook so to accompany that i thought that the little black dress video would go right along with it many of you know that the little black dress is an essential piece to a wardrobe everybody needs a little black dress for those occasions where you're going out if you're caught spur of the moment you always have that piece where you could just grab and go style it up any kind of way you want so what i thought that i would do is get 10 different little black dresses from 10 different places different styles different shapes different fabrics just to see what they look like in different places <laughs> And I also wanted to preface this by saying two of the black dresses are actually ones from my closet. They are mine. I've had them. They probably won't be available for purchase, but I'll try to find something similar. Wanted to show you guys how versatile the little black dress can be. You don't have to be boring to put on a little black dress. You don't have to be like, oh, it's just a little black dress. Spice it up with your shoes. Spice it up with your accessories. It goes such a long way. That's why it's an essential for everybody's wardrobe. So it is a haul, but let me tell y'all something. I am on a budget cleanse for 2020. So I'm not keeping all this stuff. Who needs 10 little black dresses? You only need one. So this stuff will be going back. But for you guys, I wanted to show you how each little black dress fits, the style of it, the movement of it. So you can make your determination what little black dress is perfect for you. So let's get into it. Why are the lint on my hangers? Like, where did it come from? So first up, we have the blazer dress. I think that blazer dresses are making a huge statement. They have been around for a long time and I think that it's a great option to have. It can be dressed up very well. You can wear this to a very dressy event, like if you're going to a theater or anything like that. I got this dress from ASOS and I got it in a size large. I already tried it on. It fits really short, so it's subtle sexy, <laughs> but it just has one closure in the front that buttons right here. And you can wear this either with just your bra under it. If you can go bra list, definitely go bra list this. I'm here for the bra list. Did I mention it's short? It's like short. It's very sexy. You could wear this with over the knee boots, a sandal, even pumps if you want to spice it up with some pumps. I did picture it with a headband, but a sister just got her hair done and headbands don't go with this hairstyle. So no headband. And I thought it was really cute, really sexy. So this is the first dress. Dress number two is from Miss Guided and it is a sexy number. Now let me just put a disclaimer out there, okay? If you gotta wear a bra, this dress might not be for you, okay? I'm gonna try it on for y'all and I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> but just know that I'm putting myself out there. Like, so it's very sexy. It has these cups in the front, which is really sexy. And I mean, you could wear a bra with it, but it will show because the back of it is sheer. It's all sheer in the back, so it will show has this boning in the front. It's like a bodycon style fit. The arms are sheer and the arms are kind of like that milkmaid kind of look. So they come like right under your arm. I really hate like, like why? 
the sides have this sheer material on the sides as well so no underwear sis i would just suggest because the back is sheer as well you would have to go with the spanks that hit like right at your waist not the high-waisted ones because it would show and also on the sides, I mean, it is sheer, so it would just look black. Make sure your Spanx is black, obviously. For me, I do need a bra. It probably wouldn't work so well for me unless I got like the backless bras, which I have not found the right one for me. But if you have those kind of bras, then of course you can wear that with it. I got this dress in a size 10 from Misguided, but love this dress, very sexy very appropriate for a date night for a sexy night out uh it's very cute all right guys so next up we have my favorite store y'all know zara and from zara i got the classic slip dress now i believe in the little black dress category everybody needs a slip dress slip dresses are so versatile in the way they can be styled you can dress them up you can dress them down with sneakers or boots like a flat boot a combat boot you can dress them up with a sandal you can wear them in the summertime with flats like a flat sandal i do remember feeling like the slip dress is not for my body type so if you do feel uncomfortable with showing everything because the slip dress is it can show lumps and bumps, but nothing a good piece of shapewear cannot fix. And the first time that I put on a slip dress, I fell in love with it. After avoiding it for years and years, I fell in love with it. So I got this slip dress from Zara. It's very sexy. This one has a split on the side and it has a double strap. So the straps, it's two straps going and it fits so well it just sits on you i think that's why i feel like the slip dress is so comfortable so it's so figure hugging but not hugging it's comfortable it's airy i mean it's so versatile i can't say enough about the slip dress and i got this dress in a size medium so next up is a dress from h&m so this dress is a little bit more casual than any of the other dresses in here. I think I have one other casual dress, which is mine, but this one is a little bit more casual. It is this long kind of, I guess like peasant style dress. Um, it has like a very low drop waist um, and it flares out at the bottom with these little ruffles at the bottom and it's a shirt style dress. The buttons don't go all the way down to the bottom. It stops right at the waist and it's a very loose fitting dress. I actually got this in a size small and I am not a small, but I got it in a small cause it's very oversized. Even the small fits very oversized as you'll see in the try on. But I just wanted to throw this dress in there because even with dressier dresses, sometimes you might need a more casual dress for your weekend activities or if you're going somewhere that's a little more laid back. You might just want something casual just to throw on and a little black dress can come in handy for those occasions if you have one that's a little bit more casual. So. I wanted to throw just a, another piece just to change it up in here. And I actually like this dress. I think it's nice. The material is nice, very lightweight, so it'll be perfect for spring. So yeah, this is the H&M black dress. Guys, so next up we have a brand that I have just probably over the last year have been introduced to and I really love them is Lulu's. Lulu's is a great place to get dresses for any occasion. If you have a wedding, if you have date night again, if you have a special occasion to go to, Lulu's is a great place to get dresses. Their prices are pretty affordable and the quality of their dresses. I think that I've purchased maybe two or three things from them and every time the quality is just bar none. Also a bodycon style fit but it has these this ruffle at the bottom and it's a little shorter so it comes right above my knee. The sleeves are a slight puff sleeve which gives a lot of interest to the dress and it also has a slightly higher neck. You guys know I love turtlenecks. I mean I do. It's not quite a turtleneck, but it's like a mock neck style, but you won't be hot in this dress. The quality is amazing. 
I love the stretch in this dress. It's very thick. I got this in a large. I probably could have sized down to a medium, but I wanted to just be safe and make sure everything fits. But it fits great. So yeah, this dress is from Lulu's. Guys, so y'all know that leather is a big deal these days. <laughs> Not that it always hasn't been huge, but as of, as of late, it's been a big deal. So I picked up a leather dress. Now this dress is from Nasty Gal and it's a shirt dress. It's kind of like a leather shirt dress. Very cute. It has this tie that goes around the waist to cinch your waist in, but it is a kind of like utilitarian style dress with these pockets on the um, chest and also the pockets at the waist. It's a very short dress, just like the blazer dress from ASOS. It's a very short dress, but it can be dressed up so many different ways. And if you want to wear flats with it, you most certainly can. But I think that you could wear this many different ways, even if you didn't want to wear this as a dress and you wanted to wear it as a shirt or like an open um, jacket, any item, you wanna think of how many ways can you wear it before you purchase it. So it's not just about finding a dress that's cute, it's about finding a dress that you can wear so many different ways that will last and last in your closet. So yeah, I thought that this was a great find from Nasty Gal. I got this in a size, I actually got this in a size eight because it looked very oversized on the model. Anyway, I got this in a size eight so yeah, just for reference. So next up is Boohoo. I bought a wrap dress from Boohoo. Now a wrap dress in the little black dress category is another dress that I think that every woman needs. The wrap dress is so flattering on any body type. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just know that if I put a wrap dress on any one of my clients, they look amazing. It cinches your waist in, it accentuates the cleavage area, it covers up areas that you don't want to expose. If you find the right wrap dress, you know, a lot of women have a problem, their stomach is their problem area. I feel like it conceals your stomach so nice. So I knew that I had to have a wrap dress in the little black dress category. So I got this one from Boohoo. And this one is a little bit more fancy than your typical, you know, wrap dress. I mean, it's not that fancy, don't, don't go too far. But it just has this little ruffle kind of going down the front, which makes it a little bit more fancy, a little bit more jazzy. And not for nothing, it is a high split. You'll see in the try on portion, but it is a high split. So it makes it very sexy. But the material is very lightweight. It's very airy, so it's comfortable. It sits very well. I got this in a size eight. I probably could have gotten a 10. I mean, just to give it a little bit more comfortability, but an eight fits just well for me. The wrap dress, not too much to say about it from Boohoo. All right guys, so next up is a pretty little thing. Again, you know, again, it is another sexy number, another date night, club night. Let's call it a club night dress. So this dress is from Pretty Little Thing again. It's again, another one of those milkmaid type um, tops, like the neckline is very square and the arms come right under the shoulders. It's a long puff sleeves. The sleeves are very vol voluminous, voluminous. They big, they big. So <laughs> the sleeves are very big and it has a lot of volume, but the body of the dress has this rouging going all throughout. It's very short, so get your legs out. But it's very flattering still because this rouging will conceal any problem area that you think that you might have. I would pair this with some booties. Pointed toe boot would be awesome with this for a night out. Yeah, it's not a dress that I feel like can be, I mean, maybe you could wear it with like a flat sandal if you're going on vacation or something like that. That might be cute, but it's really a going out dress. So yeah, this one is really cute from Pretty Little Thing. Oh, I got this in a size, I did get this in a size 10 and it fits really good. So this was a great size choice that I picked, so yeah. 
pretty little thing. Guys, so I'm moving on to the two dresses that I already have in my closet. If I can find similar items, I will link them down below, but I thought that they added something to the dress, the little black dress haul. Oh. So first is this dress that I got from New York and Company. Now y'all know how I feel about New York and Company. I think that it slept on, but you can find some good things in there, I'm trying to tell you. It's a bodycon style dress and it's kind of similar to that Lulu's dress in that it has this um, ruffle at the bottom. If you guys can see that, it has like a ruffle at the bottom, but it's a little longer. It comes down, um, it's like midi length, so it goes below my knee. And it also has a strap here that goes and just ties around the waist to cinch your waist in a little bit more. And it's also slightly off shoulder. So this is more of a spring summer dress. I thought that this dress is great for if you have a wedding to go to. It's dressy, but it's subtle. It hugs my hips. Oh my God, it is so body hugging. The material is awesome. Like the stretch in this, it's like the stretch that like, it has a lot of stretch, but when you stretch it out and put it on, it like sucks you back in. I don't know what that is, but that's the material of this dress and also the Lulu's dress. So they're pretty similar in what kind of material that is, but I love this dress. I've worn it before to a, um, there was like a tee that I went to, so appropriate for that. Just some pumps, very girly, very dainty, kind of a classic piece, so love this dress. Last piece is also a piece that I had in my closet, a, another dress that I had in my closet, and it's from Forever 21. I try to stay away from Forever 21, but sometimes I find so many gems. Like in my last video, I had that white blazer from Forever 21. I find so many gems in there, and it's affordable. I, listen, uh, what can you do, right? I've seen this dress many places, so I'll try to find similar ones below. But it's a typical kind of sweater dress. It's in a ribbed material. It's like a lighter sweater dress, and it has these buttons going down the front. V-neck style, you could wear this to work. If you wanna put on a cami under it so it doesn't show too much cleavage, that would be appropriate. But you could wear it so many ways. You could wear it on the weekends with some tennis shoes or some flat boots, or like I said, you could wear it to work with a pair of heels or even on a casual, relaxed date night. It's a casual dress, but I think it's so simple and it's just a great thing to have in your closet just to whip out when you have somewhere to go really quickly and you don't feel like thinking, what am I gonna wear? So. I loved this dress and I thought it was great to put in the video. I got this in a size large.
today's video let me know what you think if you liked this style of video i am trying to think of ways to relate to you that style does not have to be complicated if you have somewhere to go it's so easy just to pull out one of your essentials and just wear it different ways the versatility is endless so i just wanted to convey that to you guys let me know in the comments what you think if you have a little black dress or if now you're considering a little black dress where will you go what style do you like let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle down below along with any links to all of the dresses that I could find. These are fairly new. I did this for y'all. I did this for y'all. These dresses are available. I will link them down below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.